Hi folks, Scott Sager with you here again this morning. Uh, here at RTC Studios, we've got another political uh, contender, if you will, uh, for an interview. Here to introduce herself is Judy Dancy. Welcome, Judy. Thank you. Now, Judy is on the ticket. Uh, she's on the Republican side this year, and she's going for the county assessor. county assessor. She is currently your county assessor and has been so for... Ten years. Ten years she's been doing this for you. So let's talk a little bit. Okay. County assessor. Yes. What the heck does an assessor do? We do um, mass appraisal, which means we go out and look at every property in Fulton okay. County. We measure. You're um, assessing the value all of my house. the information yes. and come back. So it's a little bit different than a single appraisal. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's what we do. Okay. <laughs> so you look collectively around areas in, in mm -hmm. town. Um, you know, this little pod right here, giving a rough value, a fair market yep. for that neighborhood. You'll go to another neighborhood. You'll look at housing prices, right. market, etc. And sales. And sales, and we, yes. You know, we do sales ratios. Right. And, and that to determine whether we're within our market or not. Yeah, is that hard? Um, yes and no. A lot of times we don't have a lot of sales. There were 14 neighborhoods this time that changed okay. with our reassessment nice. based on sales. Yeah. So. so the people on the other end, when those assessments come out, do they get angry? Is it a good thing? Is it a necessary <laughs> evil? What is? It's a necessary thing, I yeah. think. Um, some do, some don't. Because yeah. um, their prices go up, right? Right. And Depending on the market. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's and not Judy so, doing no, this at the no, market. No, no, <laughs> no, because my assessment went up too this year. Right, right, so, okay. Um, <laughs> no, it's 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 necessary. We always want everybody to come in and check their property record card mm -hmm. to make sure that we have everything correct. Absolutely. Because honestly, we don't don't go into every house, so we're just doing it sure. from outside. So there may be your house may look really nice outside, but inside need a lot of work, but we wouldn't know that. So for us, the condition on outside may be average, good, excellent, fair. Gotcha. So we always want our taxpayers to come in and look yeah. things over and just make sure we have it right. And if yeah. not, then we get it corrected. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's so. great. That's the thing is that you do your best effort. Yes. If there are mistakes made, come in. We work together. Let's solve the mistake. We have 17,105 parcels of property 17, in Fulton County. 000. So, wow. I mean, not quite 4,000 are vacant agricultural. Okay. So, but I mean, so there's a lot of property that we look at. Interesting. Interesting. So. Well, tell me about Judy as a person. You from Rochester? Did you grow up in California? Where are you at? <laughs> I am. Um, actually, 12, by the first 12 years of my life, I lived in Chicago, okay. and then we moved to Lighters Ford. So I've been an Indiana girl for most of my life. Okay. Um, been a Rochester resident since probably 1980 when I graduated from high school wow. and moved from Lighters Ford to, okay. well, I graduated in 1979, okay. but, um, so yeah, I've been a Rochester resident for a long time, Fulton County. I've okay. never really had the desire to relocate elsewhere. Yeah. So this yeah. is home for me. Excellent. Um, I have nine brothers and sisters, so their homes are everywhere. All right, right. So, Family everywhere. Yes. Well, that's great. That's great. You got a father here locally you yes. take care of? Yes, he lives with me. Excellent. So, how old is he? 94. 94, World War II year, 94 years yes. old. What a life. Yes. That's fantastic. Yes, he does. 57 grandchildren, so he's got a long life. Great grandchildren, great great grandchildren. <laughs> Sounds like a whole other interview right there. Yeah. That's yeah, fun. So, uh, well, that's fun. Well, Judy, you've been doing this for 10 years. You're throwing your hat in the ring again. Right. I've been in the assessing field for 21 years. 21 years. I started with Norma Smith. Actually, okay. when I graduated college, I was a single mom, went to college when I was 30, had two children. And I just answered an ad in the paper, and it was for Norma. No kidding. And so I worked for Norma for five years. Wow. And then I went and worked for Indiana Assessment Service, which oh, is no a kidding. private vendor mm -hmm. that does the same thing. They go around and help counties. Nice. And then Susan Carr, who was the assessor at the time in 2008, asked me to come back to the county. And so I did. And we've just progressed from there. Oh, how fantastic. So, well, that's a nice career. And you've yes. kind of grown, and you've seen the private side of it as well. Yes. Yes. Very interesting. Um, I know we have to be level three now to sit in the assessor's office. You mm -hmm. don't have to have it when you get in. Level three is a certification, <coughs> certification level, education it's, it's and five, training. It's five really long classes that are cut down to a week each, and they're very intense. Yeah. Um, so we have to have 45 hours every two years, depending on when you got wow. your level three or your level two or whatever. You're staying on top of the latest yes, and greatest. Yes, mine started over January 1st of 2018, and I've got 49 and a half hours of continuing education in because wow. I feel that that's very important in my job. Sure. If the state changes one thing, it can change It can change the meaning of a lot of things. Yeah. So yeah. Massive application. I do uh, lots of schooling, as much schooling as I can do. Fantastic. So. Fantastic. Well, Judy, anything else you want to tell our viewers out there today? Um, it's just been my honor to serve Fulton County over the last 10 years, 21 years actually, and I hope to continue, and I look forward to Election Day, and I would appreciate your vote. Excellent. 
Excellent. Well, folks, we enjoy these interviews, get to know Judy and all the folks who've been coming in. Uh, these are important folks that are throwing their hats in the ring to represent you um, at various levels of government, whether it's the assessor or all the way up to, of course, we've had some folks in here for uh, national representation right. out in Washington. So, uh, you know, I encourage you to watch these videos, go to their websites, do what you need to do to make sure you're an informed voter Absolutely. and be sure and get out there on November 8th. Absolutely. Right? There's a lot to take into consideration when we're voting yeah. on every level. Absolutely. And I'll tell you, I want to set a record this year, folks. We want to get like 80% voter turnout. It's not going to happen. That's unrealistic. It would be nice. But Get out there. It's your, it is your American right, and also I feel your duty to get out there Absolutely. and vote. So uh, make sure you do that, and stay tuned right here on RTC TV4 for more of these interviews. Thanks again for watching.